everyone my name is Jill and welcome back to my channel um so today I am going to be reviewing the Briarfest 2018 celebration horse um his name is Brass Hat and I will be uh I'm gonna move my face over there will be a picture like right here right here ish when I edit this, uh, so you guys can see him as I'm reviewing him. I'm going to be looking over here at my laptop most of the time. Maybe. Okay, so there will be a picture right here for you guys to look at while I am looking over here reviewing. So, Brass Hat. Uh, I think it was a good choice for Briar to pick this horse. You know, this is a horse that's just, he's a perfect example of, like, Horses that can have a second career after racing. Um, and people who are saying, like, why didn't you bring California Chrome? Why didn't you do American Pharaoh? Um, those are stallions. Those are studs. And if you want little kids' fingers getting ripped off at Briarfest, then, yeah, those are totally a good choice. Um, but um, I do think that the mold suits him although the mold isn't that great um confirmation wise it does <laughs> i feel like his front is too muscled and like his hind quarters just like there's like nothing there um i i personally think it's a really cute mold though like its face is adorable i actually have cortez c and travis there travis is packed away but cortez c is in the other room um, and I personally like the mold. Like, it's a really, really cute mold. Um, and, like, the facial expressions are adorable. And actually, on my Instagram, the only pictures I have up for 2018 are of Cortez C. <laughs> you guys should go follow me on Instagram at Summer Summer Briars. Um, but, yeah, I think that they capture the model really well on this mold. And I don't think that he would have fit a mold like Cigar or Ruffian. Because I just think that this mold captures him. Um... His coloring is, like, the way that Briar did his coloring is gorgeous. Um, when we first got the pictures released from the magazine, uh, I'm petting my cat, that's what I'm doing. Uh, when we first got the pictures from the magazine, he looked glossy. We all were for sure that he was glossy, and now that we see the, these pictures, um, he's not glossy. He might look like he has, like, a little shine, like a semi-gloss. Um, but I wouldn't say that he's glossy because you can tell by his legs and, like, his hindquarters and stuff that he's definitely matte. Um, he just looks a little shiny up front, so I'm thinking maybe, like, a really light semi-gloss or maybe he just has one of those shinier coats. Um, but yeah, he's really cute and his coloring's really nice, so. Okay, so the early bird model right here, his name is Riddle. Um... I am going to say I would not be disappointed if I got this horse. He is not, he's not in the best mold. Um, I am personally not a fan of molded on tack, like the um, western horse, um, or like the man of war mold that has the molded on halter. It's not my favorite because it just, I don't know, something screams old horse when I see this mold. And it's like, okay, obviously this horse isn't old, you know, it's a really dark gray, <laughs> but something about this mold screams old horse to me, so I don't like to see a lot of, like, nice colors like this on this mold because it just doesn't look right to me. Not to mention all four of his feet are different sizes. <laughs> um, if you look closely in the picture, you can see, you know, the back right is extremely skinny. The back left is like skinny, swollen, and then goes back up to skinny. Um, and then the front right leg isn't that bad. It's like normal a little bit. But the mold just, it's its cute. Okay, I, I like this model. I wouldn't be disappointed if I got him. Obviously, no doubt anybody would. Um, his coloring is 100% gorgeous. I am in love. Um, I just wish that they would have put him on a different standing mold. Like, I don't know, maybe the ideal stock horse if they had to pick a mold that wasn't popular like Lady Faze. Um, like a Lady Faze would be really pretty in this color. I don't know if there's, uh, there's I'm sure there's probably already a gray Lady Faze. Uh, another thing I feel would would have looked good is Dapples on this horse. Hi Miz. 
Um, I don't necessarily know if I would like it. I would probably have to see it. Um, his eyes are pretty. It looks like his eyes are tricolored. Yeah, it looks like his eyes are tricolored. I hope my camera just didn't go out of focus. Um, I set up like my own viewfinder. So if I'm looking over here instead of right here, don't mind me. I set my phone up behind. So my camera doesn't have like a switch out thing so I can see myself like to see if it's focused so I had to set my phone up like I had to open the camera app on my phone turn it on like selfie mode like turn it on the front facing camera set it behind propped up behind my camera and watch myself to make sure my camera stays in focus yeah <laughs> um but yeah I like his little star I'm gonna try to see if I can zoom in yeah, I like his little star. It's really cute. You can't really see it in this picture, um, but it's definitely really cute. And his mane and tail are nicely shaded. So, and I like the fact that he has one little sock. It's, it adds a nice touch. So guys, that was my opinion on the Briarfest 2018 Celebration Model Brass Hat and the Briarfest 2018 um, Early Bird Raffle Model, which is Riddle. And... Yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I should, I'm gonna be filming a couple videos today. Um, also another update, uh, I know I've been pretty slow on posting and that is because I'm getting new shelves. Um, behind me, over here, which you guys can't even see my hands, like over here is where my new shelves will be. Right now I have one shelf set up in the other room over there. And it has quite a few models on it, like it has my glossy donkey and stuff, but there's nothing huge on there. All my show models and all my like really nice models, they're all packed away right now. And like I was thinking of doing like a stable mate collection tour or something, but then I realized that some of my stable mates are packed away too. So I'm trying to think of video ideas and hopefully I'll be able to get some more ideas so that I can do some more videos today for you guys since I have all day. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like this video and, um, go follow my Instagram at summerstormbriars. It should be, like, right here. I, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!